Okay, as we've been uh, going through the last couple of lessons, again, this is the trilogy of logic. We've got truth tables, uh, the equation, and then the circuit. And, uh, whoops. No, I think that's okay. You still got it? I didn't close anything I wasn't supposed to? All right. So um, here, what we've got, you know, we have uh, two different types of uh, circuits that we can do. SOP, which stands for sum of products as an AOI circuit, and POS, which is product of sums. Um, this would be a sum of products, AB plus B not C not, or AB or B not C not. Of course, what do we have to do? We're gonna and A and B together. And then B and C both get inverted and that gets anded together. And then we or them together for the final output. And then of course, we would also need to figure out what that truth table was. Um, so it, this is just basically, once we have the equation, now let's draw the circuit out. Okay. Um, Here's one that's already drawn. And we've got uh, A not B, C not D, or B, C, D not, or A, B not. Okay, and if we look at this, um, we have a four input AND gate, right? We have a four input AND gate right here. Where that's bringing in all those terms. We have a three input AND gate, and we haven't done too much with that, um, but it works. It would work the same way. And we have a another two input AND gate, all going into a three input OR gate to create all those terms. Okay, so really not that big a deal, other than um, if you are doing a TTL chip. There is no three input OR gate um, that doesn't exist. Uh, you can buy them, as I was just looking it up online. You can buy them as a surface mount, but you cannot buy them in a 74LS TTL number. So this circuit is great for programmable logic because it keeps it short and simple, or it would be great for um, if, if we had the ability to do surface mount, we don't. Okay, uh, we do have four input and three input AND gates and NAND gates and NOR gates, but what we usually would have to do is um, use only two input gates. Okay, so let's redesign that circuit using only two input gates. And the other thing I want to point out here to notice in the very first example we had on the first slide, they just cascaded those gates and and they had the variables going horizontally. Um, what is often easier is to have your variables and your inverters vertical, so then the lines come straight down and make right turns um, into your AND gates or, or your OR gates. Okay, so what do I need? I have the same, same circuit here. So if I was going to if I need everything, and everything needs to be inverted. So there's A with an inverter gate. There's B with an inverter gate. C and D. And it takes a little bit of planning to sketch this out on pencil and paper, which then also takes a little bit of planning to draw that on multisim. Because really, that's what we're headed towards, is building this in multi sin and then breadboarding. Okay, so let's see here. Um, what do I need for the first term? I need A. Whoops, let me undo that line that I just drew. What do I need? I need A naught. And I'm going to bring that longest term all the way to the bottom. And that is ended with B. So I'll bring those into an end gate. And then C naught 
is ended with D. Okay, so then what do I have here? I've got, oh, I'm getting too low to the bottom of the board. So, um, and then those two gates in together. So coming out of this gate is my A, A naught, B, C naught, D. Okay, so I have that term coming out there. Right? What else do I have? I need B, C, D naught. Okay, so I don't need an A on that, so let's come down here and I need a B. And that's ending with C, so I'll come down and make a, make a turn. And that has to be ended with D naught. So then I've got B, C, D naught. And those get or together, right? And then my final term, what do I have? I have, I need A, B naught. So we'll just bring A down, and B naught comes down, goes into the end gate. And then that has to be bored. So we'll take that into an OR gate, and that would be our final equation. A, D naught. Okay, does that make sense, guys? I can't see you. Someone say yes or thumbs up or something. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, does that make sense? Okay, yeah. so that is um, that is some of the products. The other thing we want to talk about a little bit, um, even though you know, I already said the, the gates dealt, uh, the gate we don't even have a three input AND gate unless we special order it and use it differently. But the other thing we want to talk about is the efficiency of these circuits. So if we go back to that first one. Um, I have inverter gates, I have a uh, four input AND, I have a three input AND, I have a two input AND, And then I also have a, a three input or. And again, I already talked about this. This is special order. <laughs> so, how many gates do we have? How many chips is it? Okay. Um, that four input and, um, there's only one gate. That's one chip. That three input in, there's one gate, that's one chip. Oh, I guess we, I didn't, uh, should have put my title up here. How many gates, how many chips? Okay, so we have four inverter gates, but on a 74 LSO4, Anybody remember what how many gates are on that single chip? Six, maybe? Yeah, it's a hex inverter. There are six on the chip. So actually, even though I only have four inverters, um, I have, uh, it's still only one chip. Um, two input and I would have four gates on this. Um, a four input and would be three gates, and a three input and is also three gates. The difference being this one is 16 pins, and this one is 14 pins, which again, we're, we're headed towards breadboarding, so it's time to start thinking about that. Most of our, most of our chips are 14 pins, but uh, 
So we got one gate, one chip, and uh, this, if, if we had that through special order, we don't, we don't have any, one gate, one chip, okay? So in total, we need one, two, three, four, five, we need five chips. Okay, if we look at the cascaded gates, if we look at this, what do I have? I've only got two input ends. Um, I guess we can kind of do the same thing. Inverter, ends, and floors. AOI logic. Okay, so again, we still have gates and chips. But uh, we have still four, so that's one. How many AND gates do we have? Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have six gates. So that would be two chips. And how many four gates? Looks like two. So that would only be one chip. So this circuit would also be less expensive to build. It's more efficient because it's going to use fewer chips. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? We'll come back to that because uh, being efficient is a big part of doing your um, uh, date of birth project. So, what did we just do? We just did a sum of products. And for a sum of products circuit, we have our inverters. We add them together. And again, it's sum of products. Ands look like multiplication. Ors look like addition. We'll write the equation out. So what is a product of sum circuit? A product of sum circuit um, means you're going to add things, you're going to or things, or add things together first, and then um, cascade them into or gates, or into and gates. So here we have um, a product of sums as an example. So again, what do we have? We've got W, X, Y, Z all inverted. We or them together, and then and together all those terms. I know that would look like a very nasty algebraic binomial or polynomial if you multiply that out. And actually, that's kind of the next section. I asked you last week, how good is your uh, how good is your factoring and your distributing? Uh, because that will lead us into Boolean algebra, which is which will be coming up here. If we wanted to find out what the Sum of products is we have some multiplication to do with special rules. Uh, for, for right now, we don't have to do that. We just have to model the circuit. And again, I think what will we have? One, two, three, four. We would have five, five different chips. Again, probably not as efficient because we have the inverter chip. We have a, a four input or a three input or a two input or and all going into a three input and. So five chips, not as efficient. Sometimes um, a product of sum circuit might be more efficient than a sum of product circuit. A product of sums is usually a little bit more difficult to work with. And since we are uh, working with this um, remotely, I already have the circuit drawn out. And I think, again, what do we have? One, two, three, four. With two input gates, we just have to cascade things together. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be two gates, or two chips, I mean, and then the AND gates to AND both expressions together. So again, this would be more uh, efficient because it only uses four chips instead of five. Okay, does that make sense? I'm walking back to my computer now. Yes, I, uh, yeah. I can see your, I'll be able to see your faces. Um, 
Let's see, did anybody else join in? Nope, we got five out of eight still. Of course, I can only see your faces if you're, uh, show me your face, but you don't have to. Okay, so um, there's probably, those are the same examples that are in the PowerPoint. Um, and now what we have is a single expression to write in some of products. And for the sake of simplicity, they say, hey, go ahead and draw this out with any number of inputs. And I'm telling you, don't worry about doing three input gates because if we're gonna build that, uh, we don't have three input ORs anyways. Um, so what we're gonna do is just draw out number two, um, which is that same circuit, um, which is A C naught or A naught C or A B naught C. We're gonna draw that out with using only two input gates. And then um, question number, I guess, question number three and four is to, when you see CDS that says circuit design software, so it's using multi-SIM, uh, we'll build that on multi-SIM and then breadboard it. Now the building on multi-SIM and breadboarding, we will do next week. So really the, the remainder of this assignment is to draw out question number two, um, question number six, which again, we're gonna skip number five, okay? There's no point in drawing it out with three input gates when we don't have them available. And so then we'll redraw that in, um, with uh, just draw it out with two input gates. And also you need to figure out the truth table for both of those. Um, let's see. And then I think there's probably some conclusion questions to answer. Um, I don't have that in this document. Let's see, do we have conclusions or not? Um, let's see here, where are we? Can you still see that screen? Logic implementation. Oh yeah, then we have conclusions. Um, looking at those couple of circuits, which one is better? Even though they both produce the same result, one designs better than another. And then we have sum of products and product of sums. How do we prove that two equations are the same? The, uh, you're presenting, it's black for me, so I can't see it. Oh, you can't yeah, see it's, it? Yeah, it's black for me too. Oh, it is? Oh. Yeah. Huh. You could see the smart notebook. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's all right. Um, I don't even know where my Google Meet window went. Oh, there we go. All right, guys, um, that's about it. Um, so you have a couple questions to do. Um, do you wanna work on it now and then show them to me on your screen or you wanna just hang up and you think you got this? I wouldn't I mind working out a few. Huh? But, oh, okay. What's that? I wouldn't mind working out a problem or two, but that's me, so. On, you mean I have on another meet soon. Work, what's that? 
Oh, I have another meet soon. Yeah, we could do them on our own and submit them, Ryan. Yeah, our meet is... Yeah, so you just have a couple equations. We'll, I'll put up an answer key after you submit it, but we need to submit it. Um, you know, you need to kind of process it and... Uh, um, well, I mean, you only have two circuits to draw. And then next, after Thanksgiving, we'll be building it on multi-sim. So let's see, when is class supposed to be over? 1253. It's 35. So if you want to try and draw it out, if you want to leave and submit on your own, that's fine. If you want to stick around and ask questions, you can, you can do that. I'm going to stop recording now. So